Today, we're having a $25 create your own tackle box budget fishing challenge. Oh yeah. No, no. Got it, got it. He ate it, he ate it, he ate it. And he's already on. He is already on, dude. I'm going to Dick's Sporting Goods and Fletcher is going to Walmart. We're each gonna have $25 to spend on whatever we want for a tackle box. The way this challenge is gonna work is whoever wins two out of the three contests is the champion. Contest number one is whoever catches the biggest fish of the day. Contest number two is whoever catches the most fish of the day. And contest number three is whoever catches the most species of the day. Now let's get into the stores and build our tackle box. All right, boys, we got $25. We're outside of Dick's Sporting Goods. Fletcher is at Walmart today, and we only have $25 to pick out all the items we need for our tackle box. But one of the challenges today is how many different species we can catch. So we have to keep that in mind while picking out all our baits. So let's go ahead and get inside the store and pick out everything. We're at Walmart, folks. We have arrived, and today I have $25 to fill up my tackle box for today's fishing challenge. I don't know how far I can make $25 go, but hopefully I can make it go farther than Noah. All right, boys, so starting this off, I wanna get a little weird today, man. I'm feeling a little spicy. I wish Dick Sporting Goods had live worms, but sadly, they don't. So I'm actually gonna go with this magic catfish bait, baby. You guys think it's magic, it's, we, we're gonna see today. All right, here we are, boys. We are in the Walmart fishing section where everything is half stolen and half broken, as you all know. But first order of business, we need to pick out some terminal tackle since we got multi-species on the board. And I think the best place to start with that is hooks. Hold on, dude. This one down here, so this is $6. This one's only five bucks, man. And this is the wild catfish blood and you can, you can smell that stuff, dude. It is smelling. It's pretty sharp, pretty spicy. So we're gonna actually go with that. We're gonna save a dollar. So five dollars, first bait of choice, put her in the box. I like these hooks. Uh, where are they at? Ah, there they are. The uh, bait holder hooks, these seem to work pretty well for me. And these are two aughts. Ideally, I would like three aughts. Um, I don't know if they have them. The last time I was here looking for them, they only had them in a giant pack, and I don't have $14 to spend, unfortunately, on a pack of like 30 hooks. So I guess we're going with the two aught. That should be sufficient for what I need. Also probably want um, uh, some kind of barrel swivel. These are cheap, $1.40, not too shabby. I happen to see these hooks right here. These are the Big Bite Dough Bait hooks. And uh, we can easily, you know, put that on. They have like a little spring in there that's gonna hold that dough on. So that is gonna be for our catfish today. We're gonna need some egg weights, of course. <laughs> in Walmart, classic fashion, not where they're supposed to be. Um, for some reason, these were in the weights, but I would assume these are probably about a dollar. That's what all these other Ozark Trail um, mini weight packs are. But uh, we'll take these three eight ounce should be good enough for what we need today. And listen, what is a Dick Sporting Goods video without looking at the budget section? We have to scavenge all that we can. And right here for a dollar ninety seven, we actually get some prime little panfish hooks. That's going to save us a lot of money because I feel like in the regular hook aisle, these are going to be at least four dollars. So two dollars, some panfish hooks. Add it to the mix. We should get some bobbers as well. Um, these are 138, ooh, 137. And it comes with a little small bait hook. So that should be like perfect for bluegill and some smaller species that we need to keep in mind. And we got split shots and rattle bobbers. Ooh, that sounds like a steal, a bargain. We're good on the hooks because we have the treble hooks and then we have the panfish hooks. But the one thing that we need is weights, and I want something that's versatile. For the catfish rigs, I definitely feel like the egg sinkers are the move. But with us using the egg sinkers, we're gonna have to buy barrel swivels as well. And to be honest, guys, we're talking about like an extra $10 just for these two. So let's really try to strategize here and keep our budget in a safe spot. <laughs> if you all have watched any of my videos recently, you know, I've people. I smell so bad. This whole freaking container of live bait needs to, to be removed. I mean, you, it really does not usually smell this bad, but when I was in here a few weeks ago, it smelled terrible, but I think it smells worse. We're just going in. We just gotta, we just gotta find a pack of worms that isn't dead, but it smells like a lot of them are dead right now. I think our best bet is to go with these 
removable split shots and these are two dollars and 99 cents so three bucks we still have a lot of room to spin on bass lures dad look at that like worm goo on the side <coughs> All right, I'm just trying to think here. So we got the catfish bait, we got the catfish hooks. <coughs> That's checked off the list. We got the bluegill hooks. <coughs> we got the split shots for both bluegill and catfish rigs. I think we're solid for that. Now we just really need to focus on bass. <coughs> God. I wish I had more than 25 bucks because I could buy like some shrimp and go out on the salt water, but maybe we can experiment around with the old catfish blood today in the salt water. I don't know if that would work, but just a thought. Whew. Okay, we're locking it in. <laughs> we got live green worms. Oh my God, my eyes are watering right now. So when it comes to the soft plastics, we have the zoom aisle here and they're gonna range anywhere between five and $7. I'm gonna be honest guys, that's just not gonna fit our budget. So the yum section is gonna be more favorable for us. It is time to pick out some bass fishing lures, which is more my cup of tea. And I might also want some like smaller lures as well to try to kind of target some stuff for the multi-species challenge. And we have all these different yum baits for $3.49. That is a steal. I'm thinking that we're gonna get some type of natural Sanko. Oh, that's a pretty juicy color. Look at that. That's uh, actually called Elder's Magic. Looks like a green pumpkin with a little bit of purple flake. So I kind of want to just stay on the conservative side and go with... I kind of like this one right here. This is called a uh, Bama Magic, pretty much a green pumpkin with a blue swirl. And I think that is gonna be perfect for us to catch those bass. So one of my favorites right here is the classic little beetle spin, can't go wrong. Tried and true, been throwing these things since I was five years old and there's never been a day where I haven't enjoyed it. So we're gonna go with those. Outside of that, uh, the other options that we have on the smaller side of things, I mean, a rooster tail is also a pretty solid bait. We're gonna mix it up with the color though. This, uh, this one we're gonna go with the black. Three bucks, not too bad. So to make sure we save a little bit of money here, I think I'm gonna go with these finesse Ned jig heads. And these are $5.50. That is gonna put a damper in our budget, but we can actually put the Senko on here and trim it down just like a little Ned rig. It's gonna work just as good. I might just have to go with the yum dingers instead. That is a good looking bait. I love the hot tip, dude. This was like my favorite bait to throw when I was little. For some reason, I felt like the hot tip always got the job done. So we're gonna use these. And to accommodate those, we are gonna need some hooks. God, man, $25. <laughs> this really ain't a lot to work with. I'm big. I mean, shoot. You guys know I love the chatted donkeys, baby, but for $6, man, I just don't know if that's gonna fit our budget. But right here, we have some of these Bitsy jigs. $2.50, this would put us right on the money. Well, after further consideration and a thorough searching of the Walmart fishing section, I have come to determine that there are no bullet weights outside of this ginormous pack of them. And this is simply not affordable with our $25 budget. So it looks like we are going uh, weightless with our worm rig. Now all we need are some hooks to accommodate that. We're gonna go with the wacky rig. And I mean, shoot, I guess I could probably just technically wacky rig with these. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like Walmart has raised their prices. Uh, these, these seem a little bit more expensive than I remember. $6 for a red eye shad in Walmart. I swear I've gotten these for like three bucks here. I mean, we had to go with the, the Ozark trail um little jerk minnow for two bucks okay i guess we're i guess we're locking that in don't really have much of an option oh perfect three dollars two dollars we got both of the things that we needed small lipless and small jerk bait that's 25 dollars, folks so i could throw this bitsy jig and probably get a bite but since we have these sankos we could technically cut like an end piece on and use it as a trailer so I wanna get one of the jigs that are gonna match this color. And if you guys look right here for $2.50, you got a green pumpkin and blue jig. That's gonna pair perfectly with that green pumpkin and blue Sanko. But guys, that is our $25. Now it is time to get out to the pond, build our tackle box and put Fletcher to the dust today. All right, boys, time to get this challenge started. We're heading out to our first spot. Listen. 
We gotta put Fletcher in the dirt today. All we have to do is successfully win two out of the three contests. We'll be crowned the champion. Let's get out to our first spot. The clock has begun. We got three hours to make this $25 tackle box catch as many fish as we possibly can today and as many species and the biggest fish possible. Let's go ahead and pour out everything that I got in here and let's build this little box for us. First order of business, we got the Yum Dingers. I think we're gonna plop these right into one of these little slots. Oh, got a little bit of slime to them, my Yum Dingers. And what color is this? This is Carolina Pumpkin. I don't think I've actually ever <laughs> used that color before. It looked more green pumpkin to me in the store, but I guess we can make that work. Nothing wrong with that. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gents, it is time to get this popping. I will say we don't have a ton of baits to put in this tackle box. You know, $25 just didn't get us too far at Dick's Sporting Goods. But let's see if we're able to build this thing out pretty good. I feel like Fletcher definitely could get more bang for his buck, but this is a part of the challenge. So we're gonna try to set up this tackle box as quick as possible. So to go over everything real quick, we got these catfish hooks. We got the finesse shrooms and Ned Rig um, heads right there. We also have some little panfish hooks. We got some split shots. We got us a little Bitsy Jig, some Sankos, and then our old smelly delicious wild cat blood. And that is not going in the tackle box, boys. I'm sorry, but I ain't about to stink this thing up for no reason. I guess we should get it, just go ahead and put all our bassaging stuff in there. Right off the rip, there is our Ozark Trail Lure. And this is a little lipless, or not a lipless, sorry. <laughs> it's a jerk bait. I don't even know what I'm saying. We're gonna throw that there. And now we have a lipless. Now this little guy got a little rattle and we're gonna toss that in here as well. So I'm just gonna throw it in here with my little jerk bait, but that should be home. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and get our hooks in here. So we got these panfish hooks. We're gonna shell out them on right in there, just like that. Then we're gonna get the split shots. Put them right in next to her. Got a catfish hooks, pretty basic. I've actually never used these before. Let's take a little closer look at them real quick. See the little wire that it's got in there? That's just so that catfish bait will really grip in and stay on the hook. But those should work well. We got our finesse shrooms. We're gonna put them right there. We got our bitsy bug jig. And we gonna slap her in right there. And then last but not least, this is gonna be the money maker right now, boys. We got the Sankos. And we just gonna slide. I don't know if I can, yeah, I can fit them. Slide them on in right there. And there we go. That is a pretty empty tackle box for $25, but we had to do what we had to do. And then we got the catfish blood, you know, but like I said, not putting that stinky stuff in there. But without further ado, let's go ahead and clean up real quick and rig up our first bait. Now it's time to get into the terminal tackle. So. I do have barrel swivels, so I should just go ahead and just put one of these up in one of these corners. That should be good for there. Then we have hooks. Got Gonna need these to catch fish. Always helpful to have hooks. And these are on like a little tie, which I don't I don't I don't see a need to keep that. I'm just gonna try to dump all these in there. No need for that. Oh my gosh, it's windy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Got the egg sinkers, 3 8 ounce, and we'll plop those right up here as well. Oh, a few more. And finally, but not least, for the terminal tackle, we have a little three for one, bobbers, split shots, and like brim hooks. Uh, we have live worms. Do I wanna add those to the tackle box? Not sure, to be complete, completely honest. <coughs> But uh, they might just stay outside of the box. You know what? Why not? <laughs> when in Rome, we're going to put our bobbers there. I think they should uh, work. Here, here goes nothing. <laughs> Adding the worms to the tackle box. This is a first for me. But trying to, trying to stick true to the theme. Don't recommend this, but hey, <laughs> we're doing it today. So I got a couple different kicking combos with me today. If you guys want to check out any of the Kicking Their Bass TV x lose combos you can check them out on my website kickingtheirbass.com it'll be linked down below i appreciate anybody and everybody 
who supports the brand. So we obviously have to cut off this rig that's already on here. We can't use that, that'll be cheating. And the first bait that I'm gonna tie on, we're gonna be targeting some bass right now. I just feel like I'm really comfortable with catching bass. I feel like we can catch one, a lot of them, and two, possibly get a really big bass to put us on that big fish leaderboard. So we're gonna start off bass fishing here. And then once we feel comfortable with the number that we've caught, maybe even a big fish or two, we're gonna move on to a couple other species. So with us using this small net head, and this is just a regular Senko, what I'm gonna do is actually cut the Senko just like that. We're gonna shorten it, and we're gonna be able to easily put this right on the net head. This is gonna be a prime bass bait right here. That is called innovating right there, son. Look at that. Look at that right there. Tell me that does not look juicy. That should totally smoke some fish. Let's go ahead and put this to the side. We're gonna walk down to this dock. Let's see if we can get a fish real quick. One thing I didn't really think through, guys, is our worms, I would assume, might need air. And <laughs> this thing is airtight. So we're not gonna be able to close this all day. Um, at least not fully, just gonna <laughs> have to keep it cracked. Got my hook tied up though. Let me add a little bobber to the mix. Got the bluegill rig rigged and ready to go. Now let's just apply one of our, our hulk worms here. There's a little bit of worm right there. We'll set this out and see if we can't get something to bite. I think right over here should do just fine next to the dock. Let a little line out. Now we're going to let that sit and wait. All right, so we're at a lake that we usually put the boat in, but there's this dock right here, and we got this beautiful tree line. There should be a lot of fish lined up on these trees, and I'm just hoping we can stack up real quick and hopefully catch a big one as well. Make sure our drag set, make sure we're good to go. The spot was just calling my name, man. I felt really good about it. And in the meantime, I'm gonna grab a few little pieces of terminal tackle here to make a Carolina rig. Final little snip there. And there is our Carolina rig. It looks nice and dandy. And since I do not have a bait fish to put on this for now, I'm actually gonna take a worm. This one looks pretty scrumptious if you ask me. And we're gonna try to Carolina rig a live worm. I do not know if that'll work <laughs> at all, but uh, one can try. Oh yeah, that is looking delish. Let's give this thing a fling and see what the catfish think. Just trying to be as fishing as I can with my strategy here. Let that all on out. All right, let's try this side of the dock. All these little crevices just look so good, man. I'll be so surprised if we can't catch a fish or two here. There's something right there on the bottom. Oh yeah. Just like that, boys. Come on, we're on board. We are on board. Come here, boy. Yes, sir, not a big one. I'm gonna be honest. I ain't even gonna weigh this puppy. Maybe that's a regret, but that is a beautiful first fish to start the day, man. Let's go. So we have one species on board, one fish on board, and it's a bass. If we catch one a little bigger than that, we'll start weighing them. I'm telling you, we're gonna catch some fish, hopefully five times this size. I like to keep busy, and we have some lures to do so. Let's sign on the lip list. That should keep me busy. My Carolina rig line just bounced, it went boom. I don't know if that was the wind, like a little weird draft, or if it actually got popped by something, but it definitely moved. Oh, you got, come on, stay on. Dude, this thing is getting slapped, but the hookup ratio is atrocious. We want at least a five yonder pounder. Just so imagine starting it off with that. But there's a concern, like we're targeting bass right now, but we could simply catch a giant 20 pound carp, 20 pound catfish, so, you know, but you never know, you never know what could happen. For all we know, Fletcher is gonna zero today. I'm just not catching anything. Yeah, I don't understand what's going on out here. I might need to reevaluate and change locations. I've been getting bites, but I throw my worm out there. It won't even get, it's just, yes. Hold on. What am I, am I snagged on something? 
Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to lose, I'm gonna lose this. Maybe? I know, it's giving away. You snagged on something, it's like a hose, maybe? They come loose? Oh, let's go. No freaking way that worked. Holy, what? I cannot believe that just came out. I thought that was a goner. Our one and only trap. Well, on that note, guys, uh, I think we should cut our losses and move on to greener pastures. This is just, this is just not working out for us. So I'm gonna pack up the supplies and we're gonna change locations. So the one thing with shortening the Sanko to fit on a net head is that sometimes it tends to fall down just like that, but I don't know. We should be able to get a couple good casts out of it before we switch it out. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Don't be doing that. That is in some solid, solid wood down there. But that is not what we wanted. We only have a certain number of hooks, so we can only break off so many times today before we're screwed. But with that being said, let's go ahead and tie up real quick, and then we're gonna head out to a whole nother spot. All right, I'm gonna bring this stuff on down. And honestly, before we commit too much to this spot, I'm just gonna work with what I have rigged up already. We didn't go that far, so. I don't know how much better the fishing might be here, but I figured it's worth a shot. This bridge has treated me well in the past. All right, we're out at a new spot. There's a lot of wind pushing up in this pocket here, and I grabbed the wrong fishing rod. I have absolutely nothing tied on this. Try throwing our little Carolina rig over by the bridge. Oh, hold on, hold on. I got something, I got something on my worm rod. Hold on, I just saw it get you. Oh, hold on, hold on. We got something, we got something. What do we got? Hold on, hold on. We got something. Is that a kitty cat? Oh, yes it is. Come here, Mr. Whiskers. Come here, Mr. Whiskers. That is what is lurking up under the bridge, boys. Let's go. <laughs> a small catfish, but finally, success. All right, maybe that's the start of something, something good. Let me uh, grab some pliers and uh, something to weight this bad boy with. And we should be good. All right, let's we'll see what you weigh, honey. Not too bad at all. Gotta start somewhere, I'll take it. Wait, so we're gonna bring our scale too, cause I'm gonna manifest this happening right now. We gotta get a good fish. If we can just find the zone where these fish are sitting at, I'm telling you, we could get on a crazy bite. So right coming back into this pocket, it creates a little ditch. I'm telling you, if you figure out the hot spot, it's just like boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah, oh yeah, come here boy. It does not feel big. Oh, but it's decent, come here. Come here, son. Ah, he ain't much bigger than the last one. If not the same size. That is not what we want, but guess what? We added another fish to the chart. Fish number two, baby. Same species, but a pretty little bass. Thank you, man. And we might've just found the hot spot. I'm telling you. Let's throw back in there, see if we get another bite. I was literally just about to give up, and sure enough, in, <laughs> in my final moments, something gave me a little bit more optimism. Let's uh, let's go ahead and re-rig this with a fresh worm. See if there's another one under the bridge. Give her a toss. Perfect. That was honestly a money spot right there on on this it held up pretty good when that when that catfish started running very pleased oh my gosh right ray instant instant hold on i couldn't even put down the thing oh, oh, oh hold on we, we got another one come on Come on, what do we have? Is that a bass or is that a catfish? Hold on, what do we have? Oh, we got a large bass on the Carolina rig worm. Let's go. Oh yes, two species down. And we got ourselves a little chunky large jaw. Not a monster, but she chunky for the size. How about them apples? Not too shabby at all. All right, we're on to something. It's starting to heat up.
Oh my gosh, right out of that tree. Oh, he's stuck. No, he's still on there though. Oh, it's a good one too. Let's see if I can get him. Oh, there we go, come on. Let's go, baby, come on. Mm. All right, not a giant, but that is a good fish. I was just about to leave this spot. And I was like, you know what? Let's walk on the other side of this tree and see if we'll get a bite. And sure enough, got this dude to eat. I can't even believe I got him out of that tree. He was wrapped all in the branches. So I know he's nothing, nothing big, but he is bigger than the last two. So we're actually gonna go ahead and pull out the scale here and just get on board with the weight. Like I said, he's not big, but let's get something going. What do we got? Is he that small? Hold on, we gotta reweigh you. I, I ain't believing this guy's not even a pound. He might be, man. He just might be. <laughs> okay, we'll take him. 0 0.90, we are not, we do not have much with this fish. But guess what, we're on the big fish leaderboard now. And hopefully that one helps us. And that's also fish number three. My other fishing rod's right here. This is the one we need. Now I just need a bluegill. And then we should have most of our freshwater species as far as what I feel like I can catch. There's actually crappie and hybrid bass in here as well, but they're few and far between and carp. And something, something took my worm on here. Should probably have paid a little bit closer attention to that. We'll snip off a little tiny piece of worm. And maybe we'll hawk this for just a minute to see if I can't get a bluegill to eat this thing. I haven't heard this thing rattle, but it has been swiped a few times. Oh, there we go. Got a little bluegill. We got a partner who wants to be fed. You see him? Oh, yeah. I'll pass on that. I will. Y'all have a good one. Three species down. Things started heating up for us real quick. It's a terrible start, honestly. Really slow, awful start. Nothing was going our way. Our baits were getting swiped. Our, you know, our trap was just getting, I mean, absolutely hammered, but nothing would actually dang commit to eating the whole thing. But now we got three species and we are looking pretty dang good. That is a nice little bluegill. All right, let's get it popping, boys and girls. On a new spot, little little grassy spot here. This wind has been cooking. All right, come on, fish. Bite my old jiggy piggy. This is the jiggy for the piggies, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, we can beam that. It's only an eighth ounce, but we can still get the job done. I'll tighten my drag ever so slightly because I think I want to give a little more horsepower in these hook sets. So make sure that hook gets in the fish. We should get bit right there. Come on. He's running with it. There we go, son. Not a big one. Another small one, man. The small ones are just biting like crazy today. But I will say that is fish number four, man. I would have at least thought a bigger fish would have ate the jig, but I guess we're not correct on that. Just a little tiny squirt. He does have a little fat belly on him. He got a fat belly. Thank you, buddy. Well, that is four fish so far, and we just gotta keep on going. Pray that we get that big bite. Oh, I think we got another one. Yeah, -ho -ho! let's go. We have the four fish now, boys. Read and weep, Noah. We catching them. We catching them out here. Let's get that hook out of there. Let her on go. All right. We got four fish, three species and a 2.2 pounder. We could definitely do better on the uh, size of things and quantity, but I'm feeling good at three species. We might have to, oh my, holy camoli. All right, we found the bluegill honey hole and that is a colossal gill. <laughs> I mean, holy smokes. All right, all right. We're, we're gonna run up the count here. As long as they're eating like this, I mean, shoot, man. I mean, quantity is definitely one of our categories, so let's uh, let's eliminate these bluegills fast as we can. Dude, there's a good fish right there in front of that pipe. I just saw him swim by. I just saw him swim by. Oh my gosh, it's a big one. Oh, he's, he's about to eat it. He ate it. He ate it. He ate it. This is a giant. 
That's a giant. Stay pin, baby. Stay pin. Oh my gosh. Please stay pin for me. That is a good fish, man. We're definitely gonna be weighing you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here, boy. Mm. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, man. Finally a good fish, dude. Let's go. And I got him right in the nose, literally, man. Look at that. Barely hooked him. Man, that freaked me out. I thought he was gonna come off on that jig. But I was just watching over there and I happened to see him swim by. And that is a good close to three pound bass right there, boys. Let's get a weight on her real quick. Oh yeah. Oh, she's so close. 2.99. I actually went down, yeah, 2.99. That is big fish right there. Is she gonna say 2.97? Nope. We're gonna say 2.99. All right, y'all, it is time. We gonna put the bass stuff away for a little bit. Go catch some bluegill, and then go target some big cats and carp. Looks like our bobber's messing up. I do not like these bobbers. I would not recommend these guys. They have like little things that hold the line in place, and they are just atrocious at doing that. I've never had a bobber have an issue with that before, and that's saying something. And it's both the orange bobber and the red bobber that I got. Oh, let's go! Reading a weep, Noah. Yeah, you ain't catching like this, son. You ain't catching like these. I just honestly feel bad. <laughs> it's almost too easy. Dude, when you get into them, you get into them. All right, boys and girls, it is time to bring out the big guns, man. We have been bass fishing this whole front half of the video, and it's time for us to get more creative. We're gonna go after some bluegill, carp, catfish, pretty much anything that we can get to bite. And then we get to try and sniff this old stinky boy, man. We are gonna get after it here. And the big question is, will the bluegill eat this stanky bait? I sure hope so. If not, we're in trouble. But let's go ahead and get our lines rigged up and start casting. Oh, hold on. Get getting pulled. Get pulled. Hold on. <laughs> we just got a bite. We just got a bite. Is there a fish on here? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. It's on the phone with Noah. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Come off. Don't get tangled. Don't get tangled. What do we got? What do we have on here? Is it another catfish? Is it a bass? I can't tell what it is. It's swimming kind of funky. Oh, another catfish, let's go. Oh my gosh, he ripped that thing. A good thing I was paying attention and had my drag loose enough where I could hear it, hear it go off. But that is a, another pretty much identical cat to the last one we got. All right, we're just gonna use this as our little setup bench. We got some grippers if we need them. We got some old plies. We got an old scale tackle box. Stanky stuff, man. Stanky stuff, okay? And we got two kicking their bass poles. And not to mention, man, we got a dream. We got a dream of smoking Fletcher right now. The, the crazy thing about these challenges, I have no idea what he's doing right now. He could just be slamming the fish. But I feel like we're in a decent spot. We got five fish, all bass, only one species. That's our goal now. We're catching multiple. Well, guys, trying to use this little rooster tail is just not going well for me. I've given it quite a bit of cast and nothing has come of it. And I just completely spooked out my bluegill spot over here. We're just shaking around that thing. So, so I don't really feel like it's worth spending any more time out here if I'm being completely honest. Uh, the bite on the, the catfish rig has kind of gone dormant. I feel like it's best if we go ahead and move on and pack up this stuff and try to find another place to catch some fish. All right, first things first, we're gonna give this guy a cut right here. And with this rod, we are actually going to rig a bluegill rig up if I can figure out how my line is tangled here. So we don't have a bobber, we didn't have a budget for all that, but we do have these small budget hooks that we got for only two bucks at the old Dick Sporting Goods. And I'm hoping these puppies right here are gonna do the trick. Boom and then pow. And now we actually need one of these split shots on here. This is gonna be crucial to make sure our bait gets down to where we need it to. Gotta have a little bit of weight on this puppy. Boom. Just like that, that is a giant weight for that, but I needed to get them a little bigger for the catfish. All right, 
new spot. I honestly haven't fished right here in a hot minute, but once upon a time, I watched Noah catch a seven and a half pound bass right there under that bridge with a frog. And I've had a good bit of luck here myself. So I figured this might be a cool place to honestly try to catfish and catch a big one. There's a lot of pilings and stuff like that. Let me sling this in here and get this cooking right away. Just wanna be like right on the edge. Oh yeah, that was money. That's nice and taut. Now, let's see if we can actually manage to catch a, a bass. That would be fantastic. And now for what we've all been waiting for, the wildcat blood, baby. I want you guys to know, is this a good bait? Have you guys used this before? I remember when I was younger, me and my granddad picked up some of this and I feel like we caught a few catfish, but we never uh, just smoked them on it. But here, here we go. Mm. We ain't doing a taste test for y'all, but we will do a sniff test. Ooh, this, this stuff's so strong, bro. That's bright, that's bright. I'm gonna fish it first with the lipless and then I wanna come back through with either, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, we got something. Hold on, hold on, oh, this is about to be a mess. This is about to be a mess, did I lose him? Or is he coming at me? Oh no, he came off. Oh, we got our lines all crossed and everything. No, <laughs> no. Okay, that's a good, that's a good. Oh, hold on, we got a fish on there still. Oh, wh what? Hold on, <laughs> my line is tangled, tangled around with my rod. Another catfish came up and ate it. Oh, whoa, whoa, holy, hold on. So we just, we just became super tangled up here. This is, this is gonna be an issue. I appreciate the bite, but good gracious, am I nervous for the uh, the aftermath of this? I'm gonna get this catfish off ASAP because it's just gonna get worse by the second <laughs> and waste a ton of my time. That is not gonna coal. It's not gonna be our big fish. So we're just gonna let that one go on in. So this is our plan. This is what we're gonna do. My hands are about to stink so bad, dude. A little piece of this. <laughs> that does not look good. I, I don't know why. A fish would want to bite that but hey we're gonna give it a shot let's just drop her down and see what uh comes out of this all right fishy fishy please bite it oh my gosh dude we got one <laughs> yo i did not even think there was a fish on my rod there but i just jerked up this tiny bluegill and i have never seen a bluegill hop on a bait so fast in my life we might have just found the juice man and listen this is why i'm not a fish you know i would have gave it a sniff test and been like yo this is not the move but look at that boys what a toad look it's as big as my head look at that thing boy oh yeah that is our second species fish number six man that is a big catch right there what a lunker thank you buddy thank you son go back swim swim along back to the task at hand trying to catch a bass on an artificial lure oh my gosh i just got smoked again <laughs> oh my my line just got absolutely just clobbered on the worm hold on hold on i think we got another fish oh yeah yep we're on we're on like donkey kong what do i have what did i catch a bluegill oh my gosh <laughs> okay all right we'll take it i hope the catfish bite this stuff just as good that would be the most confusing thing if the catfish just decided not to bite it but the bluegill loved it this is going to be an interesting deal because i feel like this is going to be hard to get out of a catfish's mouth it's the only thing i don't like about this design i guess it makes sense for bait like this okay we're just going to tie it on like that and then we're going to get another split shot we're going to put it about yay at the line right there about 10 inches and now i don't know how this works oh yeah i would expect that's how it works yep you gonna tell me right now this turd ain't gonna catch a fish i'm about to prove you wrong right here as much as i'm enjoying catching fish on these worms i really do not like handling them they are nasty i mean just look at that <laughs> that, that look, doesn't look like anything i want to put near my fingers oh my gosh we got another one we got another one just trying to literally just rinse my hands off give me in the in the at least a four or five pound club i'm tired of the small ones another small catfish and i swear the catfish have gotten smaller and smaller and smaller that's not how it's supposed to go we might need to put a bluegill chunk on to catch a bigger one i don't know if the big catfish are going to be attracted to these worms 
take the quantity though. Let's give her old flipperoo. All right, right out there in the depths. All right, so we're just gonna let our catfish line hit the bottom out there. Oh my gosh, I already got a fish. You spit it out, dude. This stuff, yo, this is some serious stuff right here, man. I'm pretty positive he already took my bait. Like, I'm not even kidding. Yep. I mean, he, look at that. He slurped it clean, dog. What are we using? This, this stuff should be banned, dude. It's just too, too spicy for these catfish. Bait here. Okay, yeah, this has different hooks. Maybe we, we go with the little jerk bait. I'm kind of feeling that. Oh my god. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Got it. Got it. Got it. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, what what is it? This one actually feels pretty good. What do we got? Oh. It's kind of it's kind of dogging me. This actually feels like a big fish, guys. Oh. Okay. Okay. Finally something a little bit bigger. This one's worth weighing, I think. I think this is gonna be our first cast. Yes, sir. Get on in here, let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me get the hook out of you there, buddy. And let's get you on the scale. And let's see what she weighs. Oh yeah, it's gonna be in our last one. I don't know by how much, but a little bit. Can you, can you stop wiggling for one second? 2.79 pounds, not bad, not bad. That is a coal, Big, our biggest fish so far, but I think we can do better. Give her an all whip. Uh, instead of letting the rod just sit on the dock, I'm actually gonna keep it in my hand. Cause I, f I feel like if I was ready in that moment, I would have caught that fish. I'm just gonna let it hit the bottom and he's already on. He is already on, dude. Let's go. It's not a big one. It's gotta be a catfish. Yeah, it's a baby cat. Holy cow, man. Look at that. Species number three, and it's the smallest catfish I think I've ever caught. That is so crazy, man. Look at that, baby. We going off right now. There we go. Simple as that. Come on, man. Just like that. Listen, you don't even have to wait. I thought catfishing was a waiting game. This ain't a waiting game with this bait. I mean, I'm probably gonna get slammed right away. Just like that, this is unreal. This is, listen, you can't make this up. Another baby cat, they're really small. <laughs> they're so, yo, I don't think I've ever caught a catfish this small. That's actually insane. Oh, there we go. Nice, quick release, money. There we go. Feels a little better, maybe. Oh yeah, she got a little more weight. Unless I got her in the belly or something. Look at her tugging, dude. Oh yeah, that's a bigger girl. That's a bigger fish right there. Don't go under the dock. I'm actually having to fight this fish in. Oh boy, what do we got, dude? Yes, that's what I've been waiting on, unless I have her hooked weird. Uh, she just feels so heavy. Come on. Let's wear this girl out. Oh, yeah, it's a good fish. It's a good catfish. Let's go. Oh, my gosh, let's go. I don't think that's going to beat our big fish by the bass just because how skinny she is. But that is a good catfish, dude. Let's go, baby. Look at that kitty cat right there. That's what I'm going to do like we might just need to weigh her what do we got uh oh okay not big but 2.13 so not gonna be like our big our biggest fish today because we had that three pound bass but good catfish right there man we were catching so many small ones it feels good to catch a big one or a good one not a big one but a, a good quality cat come on fish give me one more oh there she blows well Time's up. That was the uh, quickest three hours I've ever fished. I just feel like it was just a crazy day. Let's just call Fletcher. We're gonna FaceTime him and see what he's got. What's, <laughs> What's happening, dude? <laughs> How'd it go for you? Bro, it's been a crazy day. I'm not even gonna lie. It's been, <laughs> it's been crazy, bro. Dude, I, uh, I, I caught a lot. Really? I don't know the exact count, 
I, I lost count, but it's it's well over it's well over ten. Wow. Okay, you got me there. I have ten. So okay. you won the most fish contest. Okay, how how big is your fish? My biggest fish was like two seven nine. I yeah. Think. <laughs> so I got I got a two. Three. All right, I got a two nine nine. So I won that one. All right, it's coming down to all the marbles right here, boy. How many species did you catch? I got three. Got no three. way, yo. Dude, Fletcher, that's that's actually probably the first time on the channel we've ever just had a straight split decision draw. <laughs> oh my Throw gosh. Draw. Well, Fletcher, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. handshake, brother. Can you see me? Give me a little handshake. Give Good me, job, brother. Good job. Yeah. yeah, man, we're gonna have to run it back. Let's go, baby. Winner takes all. <laughs> yeah.